So are you saying that he has the same sex partner? He? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah, he's married to him, yes. Well, then I don't want anybody like that in my house. So can I have my card back? I don't know. He signed it. We could go ask. I never knew that. Well, so the whole point of it is, though, if, I mean, he's a human being, right? Just like you and me, and should it really matter? That's what. Well, he better read the Bible. He does, and he says that God doesn't choose a political party. Because why does it say in the Bible that a man should marry a woman then? Well, I totally respect your viewpoint on this. I so totally do. But I think that we were not around. How come this has never been and brought out before? It's, it's common knowledge. Yes. I never heard it. Um, we can talk to someone if you, if you need to talk to them about this. I don't know the rules on this or not, but I guess what I would like you to just dig deep inside and think, like, should it matter if it's a woman or if it's a man or if they're heterosexual or homosexual, if you believe in what they say? That's my question. It all just went right down the toilet is where it all just went. And, and that you are, yeah, you have a total right to your opinion, and I am not trying to tell you to think otherwise. But we'll ask what they want us to do. But I just, I just ask you to look inside your heart because you sound like a Christian woman to me, and I'm a Christian woman, and my God wants me to love everybody. I do. Yeah. So you must not believe it then, if you think it's okay for somebody to be married to a same-sex person. No, I I think we're just interpreting it different, and that's okay, because everybody get, has, gets to have their own beliefs. But what I teach my son is that love is love, and we're all human beings. Hey, I'm a walking intersectionality. I'm a left-handed Maltese American Episcopalian gay war veteran, all right? He's being hailed as the one to watch in election 2020. He's the first, he's the first gay candidate that we know of. <laughs> I've been so impressed, more and more impressed every day. He's so willing to take on the service. The most interesting mayor you've never heard of. A real renaissance man. It got to the point where our party, my party, the Democratic Party, looked like we were the ones saying the system was fine. And so a lot of people went to vote for him basically voting to burn the house down just because they were so upset about how the system had let them down. Oh, you're an interesting voice. I like some of the stuff you're I'm You're also very calming. Yes, I yeah. do. South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg. Buttigieg, I always say Buttigieg. his name wrong. Buttigieg. Amazing, amazing stories about uh, Buttigieg, and it's hard not to be enraptured by that, especially if you're the mainstream press. Why Pete uh, Buttigieg is having a 2020 moment from CNN. Pete Buttigieg is having his moment from the National Review, so they got CNN and the National Review. Why you love Mayor Pete from the New York Times, that's a fun one. <sighs> but, but Buttigieg. <laughs> and Buddha or Buddha? Who cares? <laughs> Okay. He's very fluent in not just all these languages, but in all topics. It's just interesting how much she's thought about things. The insurgents, uh, the insurgency, the youth, that freshness, that new energy. That's the type of thing that gets traction in this country. Uh, he is one to watch. I'm about as different from this president as it gets. Buttigieg is pretty much the exact opposite of Donald Trump in every way. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he also has the world's largest hands. I mean, he's fat, you're thin, he's old, you're young. You went to Afghanistan, he dodged the draft. Our country uh, needs to be led by faces that reflect its diversity, and that includes gender diversity, racial diversity. Our ticket should reflect that, our leadership more broadly should reflect that. I think that's fair game to ask anybody who wants to lead a ticket, especially if they turn out to be white and male. Uh, Peter P. P Buttigieg. Peter Buttag. Yeah, it's Buttigieg. Buttigieg. Just like that. Uh, some people say, you just say boot, edge, edge. And that guy, that guy there, that guy makes me feel better. Mm.